I mean, conservatives don't believe in freedom. That's, that's the key, the important observation. You believe in freedom as long as fill in the blank. Your conception of freedom is contingent on whatever set of things that you think are more important than freedom. In this case, you know, you don't like monopolies. Or um, you want the, the, the state uh, to, be, uh, to be secure, so you're willing to give up freedom so that, uh, I don't know, immigrants can't come into the country. You don't really believe in freedom. You, you believe in, you don't believe, you don't support freedom of association. No conservative supports freedom of association. Uh, small businesses can associate freely. And if they can't, the government has no business in business. So uh, conservatives don't believe in freedom. They believe in freedom with big constraints, unfreedom imposed on it, like you don't believe in freedom of immigration. You don't believe in freedom to grow the business as big as it can be. You don't believe in the freedom of a woman to abort a fetus. You actually don't believe in freedom. All right. So you're telling me Denk, denky tea or whatever, whatever it is, that you believe that all immigration should be legal as long as it's not a national security risk. So immigrants should just line up. They should be uh, screened for national security risk, and all of them should be immediately welcome into the country, granted a visa. Maybe we don't even need visas. Just uh, able to go and get a job with no restriction. You know, Mexicans just come into the country by the millions. You, you don't see, you don't have any problem with that as long as it's not a national security risk, as long as they're not terrorists, as long as they're not invaders. Where is this Republican who believes this? As long as they're 18 year olds? No Republicans believe, no conservative believes this. Now, I, I, I read here on the show the national conservative agenda and that was not it, not it. Well, good for you that you believe that that is the right immigration policy. Ted Cruz does not believe in that immigration policy. Zero zilch, absolutely not. Ted Cruz believes in open borders, except for national security. No way does he believe in that. I would say not a single Republican senator today believes in that. Not a single conservative intellectual believes in that. I'm happy to ask him. I'm happy to. You can pull up. You can pull up videos of him saying exact opposite. It's open borders, except for national security risk. Right? If you're not a terrorist, you'll walk him in. Nobody believes in that. That's a, that's that's massive mythology. No, open borders is not the ability to cross without vetting. I am a, an advocate for open borders and vetting, but it means that anybody who passes the vetting, and the vetting is for national security only gets an automatic permission to come in. Welfare state or no welfare state. We didn't contingent this on welfare state, right? I also believe in years of vetting. <laughs> yeah, then it, you're, you're full of shit. That's what you are. There's no such thing as years of vetting. <laughs> years of vetting. <laughs> All right. Conservatives, I mean, they lie through their teeth. <laughs> you don't believe in freedom, except that you don't believe in freedom. You believe in restricting freedom for, nas for, for, for the national interest or for whatever uh, theory or whatever you want uh, to apply to it. But years of vetting means you want to restrict immigration. That's what it means. It means you want to violate individual rights by restricting the, nu the, the, the number of and the type of legal immigration. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, 
we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.